Well, my making addendum videos seems to now be a pattern. All right, I forgot to mention this article and I will link to it below. It is electromagnetic radiation or EMFs really at risk. I'm not going to read the whole article. I'm going to concentrate on, well, let me just say kids in school with that Wi-Fi technology have been complaining of symptoms like dizziness, racing heart, or irregular heartbeat weakness, anxiety, fatigue, feeling faint, difficulty concentrating, chest pain or pressure. Amazing that they have Wi-Fi in schools. And it is, unfortunately, um, causing an awful lot of symptoms in kids. Hey, how about that symptom like ADHD, yeah, that they then get put on medication, psychiatric medication. Oh boy, do we have a really twisted society here. Um, electromagnetic radiation may fuel dementia. No, it is fueling dementia. All right, um, but I want to focus on the ways to reduce the dangers of EMFs. Keep your cell phone and computer at a distance when possible. It is always possible. Women, please do not stick a cell phone in your bra. Why do you think we have an exponential increase in breast cancer? Men, get your cell phone out of your front pocket, especially because it's frying yeah, you ready? Those balls of yours that you cherish. All right. Um, I will link below to this article. Um, there's a lot of good information in it. Natural ways to reduce the dangers of EMF. Keep your cell phone and computer at a distance. Uh, yeah, avoid carrying your cell phone in your pocket or bra. Avoid using your laptop on your lap when connected to a power source. Use a separate keyboard and mouse when using laptop for an extended amount of time. Avoid Bluetooth headsets. You're, you're literally just... You're injecting radiation into your brain when those things are just sitting in your ears. Try earthing. All right. Earthing. Walking barefoot on the grass. Just please make sure that you're not around a Gwen Tower. Yes, those very, very long, high, high up in the sky antennas with all of those wires coming down to the ground, they emit dangerous frequencies, ground-based frequencies. So if you're walking barefoot around a Gwen Tower, you're frying yourself. We, the body, is an antenna, and we are conducting frequencies right smack inside us. When we walk barefoot around a Gwen Tower, boy, do we pull very intensely those frequencies, very rapidly right to our feet and right on up, right on up to our brain. So it's very careful. I mean, it's very important to be careful where you are walking. Grounding can eliminate the ambient voltage that comes from everyday electricity power sources. If you can get into the mountains or if you can get to a beach, um, First of all, they have negative ions, which are so important to our overall well-being. They have depleted the positive ions from our atmosphere. And you can find some negative ions still in the mountains. Uh, that's why people go to the mountains or go to a beach to vacation and they feel well rested. Negative ions are very, very important. Um, so take a barefoot walk on the beach or on the grass in a nearby park. Well, please, please look out for a Gwen Tower. Uh, unplug appliances when not in use. Keep the bedroom clear of as many EMFs as possible. 
cell phones on your bedside table that you use for an alarm to wake up in the morning a really dangerous act on your behalf. Do not do that. Get a battery powered alarm. In fact, alarms that, you know, we have used those plug-in alarms that emit an awful lot of um, radiation themselves. They're pretty dangerous, but don't have your laptops uh, sitting on your bedside table and and if you can don't use a computer or a laptop or your cell phone before you go to bed because all of these frequencies are affecting our sleep they affect the melatonin in our brain the light coming off of the screens are affecting our ability to sleep. So we have an epidemic of insomniacs now. And an awful lot of people are taking pharmaceuticals to go to sleep or buying uh, the over-the-counter sleep aids. It's a big business. Billions of dollars just, just in sleep aids for Americans. Well, why are we having such difficulty sleeping? Because we are saturated in dangerous microwave frequencies that are affecting our sleep. Um, they pretty much deplete our REM stage, you know, that really important stage of sleep that we so desperately need because that's the stage in which the body restores itself. And you wake up feeling rejuvenated. I don't know anybody who wakes up feeling rejuvenated anymore. So uh, the best way to get back there is to get all of your electronics out of your bedroom. Avoid Wi-Fi or unplug it when not in use. Get rid of the Wi-Fi. Try to avoid halogen and fluorescent lighting. Get rid Get rid of those light bulbs, the curly light bulbs. They actually emit frequencies into your home that are dangerous. Uh, LED lights, LED, are um, now I can't remember, so I'm not going to say anything about LED lights, but do research on them. Um, Halogen apparently are emitting. Day. I loved the lighting of the halogens. Well, I don't use them anymore. They also emit frequencies. I, I had a comment from someone just today that said the lighting, the light bulbs, and I think she was talking about those curly light bulbs, end up giving her headaches. So, yeah, I mean, virtually everything now is toxic. Your diet can protect you. Rosemary, pomegranate seeds, pecans, asparagus, blueberries, walnuts, broccoli, prunes, cinnamon, dates, cilantro, holy basil, vitamin D3, spirulina, noni, um, and omega-3 fatty acids. Include them in your diet. Yes, the Bluetooth headsets and uh, use speakerphone. Though when I talk to people on speakerphone, it's so hard for me to hear them. Anyway, it's far better for you to speak on speakerphone. Um, so I, I did want to there's paints, special paints that you can buy. There are fabrics, shielding fabrics that you can buy. Um, there are filters. Uh, there are smart meter guards. Unplugging your appliances when not in use. This not only avoids wasting energy, it will reduce the levels of electromagnetic frequencies emitted into your home. Keep the bedroom clear. 
of as many electromagnetic frequencies as possible. Um, yes, get away with, do away with Wi-Fi, get the Ethernet uh, that grounds the frequencies so you can have internet access. And look, they have Ethernet cables that are a hundred feet long. Yeah, you can plug in your laptop and you can walk from your bedroom into your kitchen. It's a little bit inconvenient because you're dragging a lot around a wire, but you are huh, protecting your health by doing that. Isn't it worth it? Yes. Um, they have wireless pacifiers that monitor a baby's temperature. Wireless diapers that tell an alert when you need to change it. Jesus! I didn't know that. This is really becoming a pretty friggin scary world. Get rid of baby monitors! Oh my god, are they emitting very dangerous frequencies going right into that soft skull of an infant. All right, I will link below to all of this. Um, your food is important. Your exercise is important. The, the reduction of exposure is extremely important. I hope that you take all of this very, very seriously, especially those of you who are still feeling okay. You want to hold on to that. You really do. You know, it really isn't until you start losing things that you begin to see how you took so much for granted.